what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. Now, yesterday's video you guys saw that we did an ABC Punk deck profile. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys Punk ABC combos and test hands to show you how powerful this deck really can be and where the combos can go. You guys are going to see in today's video that even with brick hands, you guys can continue to combo just because when you have access to an emergency teleport that gets you into the Punk engine, there's so many things you guys can do with this deck. So I'm going to be showing you guys multiple test hands, multiple different ways to play the deck and what the deck essentially is going to look like. But make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Two things. One, it's free. Two, it supports your boy. And actually a third thing, we upload five days a week here on the channel. We do deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, product openings, all that good stuff. It's all on the channel. You guys don't want to miss out. So make sure you subscribe to tune into all that good stuff. Now, I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. So with that, let's get into some combos. So in yesterday's video, I showed you guys this ABC punk list that I've been working on. I think this deck is very, very powerful and it can keep up to speed with today's metagame. But so in today's video, I was going to show you guys some test hands to show you guys what the combos look like in this deck and what end boards can look like in this deck. So without further ado, let's get into some test hands. All right. So for our first test hand over here, okay. This is not any of the punk stuff, so I'm not going to be showing it to you guys. But you guys can see we opened Hangar, we opened a piece, we even opened Colosseum, which gets us to Regulus. So if you guys have ever played ABC before, this combo is just very, very straightforward. Like here, you can even just start off by activating the Colosseum and then adding Ethereum monster. And then you guys can kind of imagine where this goes if you guys have ever played ABC. I don't want to show you guys this too much because I really want to show you guys the synergy between the punk and the ABC stuff. But here you guys can see you have like essentially full combo. You normal summon your B, you equip driver, driver equips another piece, blah, 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 blah. You go platinum gadget. You pretty much end on IP platinum gadget with Regulus and you're going to be able to go into Apollo on your opponent's turn. So you have a buster banish, you have a Regulus omni negate, and then you'll have Apollo with two negates. So that's the end board with this hand. I don't want to show you guys this because I really want to show you guys the punk stuff. Okay, so this is a great hand over here because I want to show you guys the synergy between the punk stuff as well well as the ABC stuff and here we didn't even open a great hand you guys can see we don't have union hanger in our hand we don't have unauthorized reactivation but I want to show you guys where a combo and a hand like this can go so first things is first you're going to start off with the e-telly of course you're going to want to summon the Xeom in here from your deck and then what's going to happen is you're going to activate your Xeom in effect pay six and you're going to be able to search a card from your deck to your hand now at this point you already have a foxy tune in hand but we're going to search another foxy tune anyways foxy tune is just really important to search here because it's going to get your pieces in the graveyard for you right so here we're going to activate our foxy tune we're going to special summon a punk from our deck and then we're going to be able to pitch a piece here let's pitch our a the b is better for a normal summon later so i'll get into that but for right now we're going to pitch our a we're going to be able to summon this now we have two routes of going through this, all right? We can go through the Chaos Ruler to try to hope and mill something, or we can go straight into the Halk play. And let me show you why in a hand like this, the Halk play over the Chaos Ruler play is just a little bit better, because we have already a piece in our graveyard, and I'm going to show you guys why that's important. So we're going to go to Halk of Fibrax here right away, and then we're going to get to activate our Halk of Fibrax as Chainlink 1, and then we're going to get to activate our Dear Note as Chainlink 2, targeting our Z Amon. We're not going to target the Foxy 2, we're going to target the Z Amon, all right? So we're going to special summon the Z Amon over here. We're going to get Hulk and Hulk is going to be able to summon a Jet Synchron from our deck. So now let's just leave this Z Amon on the side. We'll just do straight up the deck that Hulk plays. So first things first, we'll go Link Karibo. We'll go Jet Synchron effect. Jet Synchron, of course, is going to get to pitch us another piece, right? That's really important. But in this case, we actually want to keep the piece in our hand. So we're going to actually just pitch the Foxy Tune that's in our hand to summon it back. Keep in mind, we still haven't used our normal summon yet. So that's why this is really important. And then here, we're just going to go into Dagda with these two. All right, so now you've set up your Hulk Dagda stuff. We're going to get to normal summon our B-Buster Drake, and then we're going to get to Synchro Summon into our Shooting Riser Dragon. Now here you can just make IP honestly as well, but I honestly don't think IP is the best play here because I think going to the Shooting Riser is going to be really good because two things is going to happen. One, you're going to get to use Shooting Riser effect to send the card to the graveyard, and you're going to get B to search you another card. So here we're going to go B as chain link. Well, actually, I think we're going to go Shooting Riser as chain link one. It's more important to dump something here just in case your opponent has like an Ash potentially or something, right? We'll go B as chain link two. B can add us any piece at this point. Let's just add another B for next turn. That doesn't really matter. And then Shooting Riser is going to get it to send a card. Now we could send a Snow. However, what piece are we missing? The C. So we're going to send the C here, and then we're going to have access essentially to our ABC Buster Dragon. So one, two, and three 
into Buster Dragon. So what's really cool about this board is you're gonna be ending on a Scythe Lock with your opponent. So you're gonna be able to Scythe Lock your opponent, you're gonna have an ABC Dragon Buster Banish, okay? And then we're also going to have a Baron de Fleur as a negate with just the e Telly and pretty much any piece in hand. Now there's different ways to go about this. You guys can see we don't have the Dagda, of course we don't have the Scythe just yet. We're gonna have to wait for our opponent to activate something essentially for this to activate because you guys can see we didn't really activate any other cards. But could you imagine this other card in your hand wasn't a Ziamen and it was a Union Hanger? or it was a Therion Colosseum kind of card. Then you get to the Scythe and then you get that set up. But essentially, you have the Scythe play set up, you have a Dragon Buster and you get to the Baron. All right, so for our next test hand here, I want to show you guys this. Okay, so here we open the Union Driver, but we have the Itali, we have the Terraforming. We do not have access to our unauthorized reactivation, which means our Union Hanger is going to be a little bit tough. But here I still want to show you guys how a combo like this can work. So we can go Terraforming, uh, we can, I guess, chain the E-Tele, it doesn't really matter. But you're going to be activating both of these, essentially. You're going to be summoning your z -Amin, and then you're going to be able to get a Union Hanger to your hand, and you're just going to hold the Union Hanger right now, okay? We're not going to go into Colosseum, we're going to go into Union Hanger. I think Union Hanger is a little bit more important. Then we're going to go into z -Amin here. We're going to get to add a Foxy Tune, and of course, like I said, you have a piece in hand, you have a Union Hanger, that's all you're going to need. First things first is we're going to actually activate the Union Hanger here, because summoning the B is a little bit better than pitching the B. So here, we're just going to add an A from our deck to our hand. So this way, we have another piece that we can send with our Foxy Tune. We're going to activate our Foxy Tune, summon a another one from the deck, and we're going to be pitching our A Assault Core to summon a Deer Note. And again, here you can go into Chaos Ruler, but I want to show you guys why the health play is just so powerful. And I think the health play is just better to go into here because you still haven't used your normal summon. You're going to be able to abuse the hanger with this kind of board, right? So here we're just going to go straight into our Crystal Hulk Vibrax and we're going to get to activate its effect. We're going to go chain link one Hulk and we're going to go chain link to Deer Note. And Deer Note, of course, is going to get to summon back a Z Amen. And this is pretty much the same combo as you guys saw before. And then we're going to make this into Link Karibo. And then we're going to use a Jet Synchron again. Honestly, Jet Synchron is going to get to send a B from our hand, which is really cool. But what we can do here first, actually, is we can just go straight into summoning our B Buster Drake. We can't equip Driver here, as you guys can see, right? If we had a Driver in our deck, this combo even goes further, right? However, what we can really do with this hand is replenish our own hand, essentially. So how that's going to work is we're going to actually equip a c to our b here all right we're not going to use our jet synchron just yet we don't want to lose another card from our hand because this hand is already kind of meh so you don't want to lose more cards so this is kind of a way to play around losing more cards here you can actually go straight into a dagda with your link karibo as well as your b buster drake because you have a piece in your hand right so here what you're going to get to do is you're going to activate the effect of b buster drake is chain link one and then you always want to chain block so you're going to be using c crush wyvern as chain link two we have a piece in your hand Funny enough, we could summon the Union Driver and go into an 8 here, but I don't think we need to. Here, we're going to go into B because we're just going to abuse these not once per turn effects a lot, essentially. And then here, we can just search another piece to our hand, get more cards in our hand at all time. So at this point, we have two options. We can go into Shooting Riser Dragon. We already have all three pieces in our graveyard, so we can actually just send up Fairy Tail Snow, which is another form of disruption. Or what I would prefer to do here is just go straight into IP Mascarena because what IP Mascarena lets you do is it lets you use itself as well as the Dagda to make Apollo on your opponent's turn. So here we're just going to activate the B Buster Drake, get another card to our hand. Let's just add a C Crush Wyvern here, I guess. Doesn't really matter what we add. And then you guys can see here, we pretty much have the full combo set up again. We can just hold the Jet Synchron here essentially for our next turn if we need it, just for more link climbing. But here we can just go straight into our ABC Buster Dragon. So this is your end board. You're ending on a Scythe Lock. Plus, you're ending on an IP with Dagda that's going to make your Apollo. And then you're also going to be ending on a Baron. And you're going to be ending on an ABC Buster Drake Banish. Guys, I'm telling you, the synergy with this deck is just so, so powerful. We even bricked in this hand. Like, we bricked and we made this possible. And that's what's crazy about this deck. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I got to show you guys multiple combos in this video that essentially show different ways you guys can pilot the deck. The really cool thing is it's not very linear. There's different ways and different things you guys can do with this deck. And that's one of the things that I love about ABC is different matchups. You can be like, okay, against this matchup, this combo line is better. Or against this matchup, this combo line is better. That's one of the really cool things that I like about this deck. But you guys can see even with brick hands like our last hand, you guys can still combo. You guys can still do things. It's not like you're just going to be passing turns because just having access to the punk engine is going to give you so many different combo lines. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. I appreciate everyone who's joined so far. 
far. The Spanko Squad is growing every single day and I love all you guys. You guys are the reason why I continue to do this. We upload five days a week here on Spanko. So you guys want to stay tuned. Trust me. I think you guys want to be here to see all that good stuff and it's going to be coming out regular. So you guys get access to content every single day essentially. You never get bored. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you with that Spanko side note. Peace.